Yo, what's cracking, everybody? Andrew here of Schwalock FC, and I'll be breaking down another Sunday indoor soccer video for you. Coming into this game, we're 2 and 0. Rock solid start to the season after winning the title the season before. Quite exciting, and actually, this match is about to be intense because it is the matchup that we had in the final from last season. So the two best teams in the league currently facing off and going head to head. So let's jump in. Starting off the game, Keeper flicks it up the middle from the other team, kind of a bad touch. Matt snags the ball, flicks it into Jason. Jason tries to flick it on, but just a little off. However, great start to the first half. Oh yes, I'm now on the pitch, charging up the left side. Booch making a run, flicks it in and kind of bounces around, lands right in front of me. I try to volley it in the open net, and I miss it. I get too much under the ball, ends up popping it up, and the keeper makes a pretty nice save to flick it up and over the crossbar. Dang it, I should have scored that. Here we are on the break again. Matt now bringing the ball up along the right side. Flicks it into Jason. Somehow the ball bounces around and does not go in. It had to literally be sitting on the line. But Jason ends up flicking the ball back to a sprinting Matt, and Matt smashes it home to now put us up for the first score of the game, 1-0. Unfortunately, pretty quickly after that, the ball and possession switch to the other team for a while, and they end up knocking one home, getting it now 1-1. One -one. Now here are some of my first touches on the ball. Flicks over to me, I pass it off to Josh, Josh lays it off. Some good possession work here, gets back to me, and I flick a nice ball into the middle to Josh, and it just goes over the top of the crossbar. A couple more minutes in, other team has some strong possession, and this goal is actually from one of my good friends, Tyler, on the other team. I'm marking him in the box, and he gets off a fantastic header and slots it home, top corner. I wish I had this on film, because that was a nasty goal, and I don't know if I've ever seen such a pure header in an indoor game. Now the other team up 2-1, we're still trying to attack, and Josh with some fancy footwork ends up knocking the ball to a teammate, flicks it over to me, and I kind of shed a defender a little bit, get a little bit of movement going on there, and then try to take a shot, which didn't really look like a shot, but that was with my left foot, I need to work on it, I know, and the ball kind of just bounces around in the mixer, nothing crazy happening. It's got to be because I skipped leg day. Nice little first touch here from Dan, who flicks a great ball over to Jason. Jason smashes it at the keeper, but keeper gets down quick and makes a good save. Now we actually have a corner here, and a nice ball flicked in, and corners are always a mess. There's just so many people around, but it finds its way to Matt, and he has a nice turn and a hit. Unfortunately, he just gets blasted off a defender. Here's some nice play from Booch. He gets a touch on the ball, still kind of juggling around, just like one of our previous games. Eventually, finds the ball on the ground, has a hit, goes off the wall, after bounces around, the ball finds its way to Matt, and Matt just slots it home bottom right. Now, game is all tied up 2-2. Now here we are on the break, Adam gets the ball, I'm running with him, we only got one defender to beat. He kind of pushes it out to the right, has a rip, but goes off the wall. I get the ball back, try to have something with my left, but I pop it up yet again for some reason. I'm tracking back, and don't pay attention to my first touch. For some reason, I just am popping the ball up. Every time I touch the ball this game, but I end up heading it back to our defender, and then we start to get some good possession going. Ball gets flicked up to Jason. Lovely. Finally, I get a touch where I don't pop the ball up. A nice first touch, lay it off, end up getting the ball back in the middle. I shed one defender, but unfortunately there was another one there, so I lost possession. It's fine. Everything's fine. Now we're about to go on the break. I'm chasing down a ball. But my dude Evan just trips me, I hit the floor. Evan and I play outdoor together in some pickup games and things like that. So I know a lot of players in this team, they're all great guys. Until they knock me on the ground. Dang it, Evan, dang it. So possession held by the other team on their side, but then I'm on the break again. The ball was flicked over, but for some reason there was a foul called. Somewhere, I don't know where. I was not happy about it, as you can tell. Josh and I working well, gets the ball to me, I'm on the outside, I try to flick it back to him, and he has one of my pop-up touches. Sorry Josh for cursing you with that. Now here's probably one of my best shots, and for some reason I've taken every shot in this game with my left foot, which is good, like I said, I'm gonna be working on that. Ball gets to me across the field, I shed one defender, have a rip with my left, but keepers out quick and makes a good save. Now we're maintaining some possession, trying to break this tie. Josh with some good footwork, ends up flicking the ball into Jason, who's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. 
but he just shanks it to the left and obviously not happy about it, he's just jumping in the air to show his frustration. There's never a wrong time to practice heading the ball. On the break, it's 3v2, we get the ball out to Adam and he's just wide, just to the right of the post. Game still tied at 2-2, other teams said, nah, we're not having that, so they go down and score, breaking the deadlock, now making it 3-2. Now check this out, Nick ends up getting the ball, gets cornered against the wall by two redshirt dudes and says, nah, I'm not about this, goes right around the defender, lays off a good ball, we just can't finish it, but yeah, Nick has some fantastic footwork and ball skills, it's crazy. I'm gonna have to have him teach me how to not pop the ball up every time I touch it. Now, this run of play is rather unfortunate, Two very quick goals for the other team that now makes the score five to two. The joys of indoor is that there's a wall that you can get smashed up against, the ball can get held there. Eventually I take the ball, get fouled, but my dude Tyler, the guy that I mentioned who scored the crazy header, comes and helps me up. My dude, thank you. Now that we're down, we're trying to make something happen, but unfortunately we lose the ball, but Nick, game-saving tackle, brings me back to that amazing slide tackle Rooney had to save the game and score the winner. A foot race the other way. Look who's running hard after defensively. Wayne Rooney, the net is empty. Big collision by the captain. That is unbelievable effort. Fortunately, we don't score a winner here. Not yet. We're not going now without a fight, so Matt ends up tackling the ball, gets free, and slots one home. Top bins, top left. Absolutely nuts. We're still in this one now, 5-3. All right, now this one is a bit scary, so get ready for this. Booch on the break, going for the ball. Keeper comes up and shoulders him in the head. Obvious foul, should have been a card. I'm not sure how that wasn't because he should have been sent off for dangerous play. Absolutely ludicrous that he was not. But listen to when the whistle is blown. After the hit is made, Booch is on the ground, but then the ball falls to one of our players who shoots it and scores. But the whistle was not blown until after the ball was kicked and it was going in the net. So the goal did not count. There was no card, and now Booch has to go off to the sideline because he's super dizzy and probably blacked out. Here's how this should have went down. The goal should have been allowed because the whistle was not blown until after it was already scored. Two, that keeper should have had a red card for dangerous play and should have been sent off of the pitch. Booch is just a tank and somehow survived that to come back in later, which is just crazy. So the score should now be five to four with a new keeper coming in. However, none of that happened. The keeper got nothing at all. He stayed in the game. The goal did not count and that was essentially the end. I think they even got the ball after that. Even after all of those blown calls, we're still trying to attack, ball goes into Adam, he has a swing, kind of goes off the wall, eventually finds his way to Josh, goes to me, I do some fancy footwork, just weaving around some defenders, try to slam it home with my right foot, and it kind of goes off the keeper's hand in the post and eventually collected by him. Other team decided to crush our spirits, run down the field, and score one that would put us away for good. With two and a half minutes to go, it's essentially over, but we don't give up. We're still trying to score a goal. I'm down there pushing, but then ball comes back to Booch. Ref blows the whistle because Booch has been kind of back-talking the ref for the majority of the second half of this game, and maybe it's the fault of the head injury. We don't know. Thankfully, he's okay, and obviously he's back on the pitch, so he's good to go but he is awarded a red card for just saying some things under his breath. Not the ideal scenario because now Booch is off the field, we're playing down a man, and he's out for the next game, which is already tough enough because he's a stellar defender, but I'm also gone for the next match as well. I'm out of town on a business trip. So that puts us down a lot of subs, and I'll have to let you guys know how that game turns out. With about a minute to go, they close the door, seal the deal, and put us away. Scoring another one at seven to three is your final. Tough game for us on a variety of fronts, and that's tough because it's our first loss of this campaign, and we almost went undefeated last season. So now two and one, not looking great, but that was definitely the other top tier team in this league, so we just need to get refreshed, get our heads straight, and move on from it and continue to win. Thank you all for joining me 
on this session of Sunday Indoor Soccer. I appreciate you hanging out. And uh, if you're in the Ohio area, hang out on Sunday. Come to a game. It'll be a blast. I'll take my shirt off. I'll throw it to you in the crowd. Whatever you want. I'll sign it. I'll give you a boot. It's fine. Life's great. Everything's fine. But seriously, thank you all for subscribing to our channel here at Schwalock FC and sticking around for all the crazy, interesting, different soccer-related content that we produce. We love you all. And I will see all of you in the next video.